everyone, this is Maria and this is my collecting habit. In this video, I'm going to share with you a doll that I found at the flea market. Her name is Tiny Thumbelina and she was made by the Ideal Toy Company in 1961, originally. And then in 1962, she was still available because I got her for Christmas, you guys. And this is the size that I got. And so she is the 14 inch Tiny Thumbelina. And so she came in different sizes. And so, but this is the one that Santa Claus brought I me. I did take her a bath, you guys, just a little while ago. It's so warm and there's a nice breeze outside. And so her cloth body got a little wet, but it dried very quickly. And so I just bathed her with a little Dawn soap and she turned out nice and clean. There's a few stains on the cloth body, but this really is not bad at all. I've seen some that are much worse. The body has no tears. She has this original knob and you could hear it wind and it says ideal, let's see, ideal toy corporation. And so, but it doesn't work. And so how she did work before is you would wind her up the knob and then you could lay her on her side or on her back and then she would just move and wiggle like a little doll, like a little baby doll, really, really cute. And so I did wash her hair and so I used some shampoo, the kind that I use, with some conditioner. And so, yeah, her hair is not really long, but she still has quite a bit of hair, too. And so I really, really love her. So happy, you guys. So, so happy. There's something on the back here. And there's some letters. And I know it says 14, number 14, meaning that she's 14-inch doll. But isn't she cute, you guys? Look at her rosy cheeks. There's a little bit of a rub here on one of her rosy cheeks, but she still looks nice. Her eyebrows are nice and she has beautiful eyes. I found this pattern on eBay and it wasn't very much. I wanna say around 10 to $12 and it is original. It's not a copy. And so it's made by Simplicity, Simplicity Pattern. You could see originally 45 cents and the number is 4723. And so the little outfits that I'm going to show you, I made the little nighty. I also made variations of this dress, and then I made this little set here. So I bought all of my fabric at Joann's and Hobby Lobby. And so let's see, the first one is this cute little set here. Look how cute. And so I'm gonna put them all on Thumbelina so you could see how they look on her. Just really adorable. And then I made this one using the same pattern. Really cute, I love to use Rick Rack, and I use a technique that I learned when I was making Barbie doll clothes decades ago, you guys, I have not made Barbie clothes in forever. And then this one, the little nighty. oh my gosh, so cute. Look at the fabric with the little lambs. Just really, really cute, super simple to make. And then this one right here, I love this fabric. I remember seeing this fabric, this print back in the 70s. I have not seen it since. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Just really cute. Look at the little roses, tiny roses. And then this one was just so cute. I couldn't resist it. Look at this. Just so adorable. I love the purple rickrack. So these are the flannels. And then now I'm going to show you the cotton dresses that I made. So here are the little shorts. And then here's the little dress. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Look at this eyelet. And it came with this right here, the rickrack. Just so cute. And then this one right here, I remember buying this fabric over at Hobby Lobby. It has Dumbo's on here. Look at Dumbo the Flying Elephant. And then the trim, just so cute. Lace. And then this fabric I also got at Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Look at this with all of the bugs, all the insects. So cute, there's bees and there's ladybugs and snails and butterflies. So cute. And then the little shorts. I love this lace right here too. It's just so cute. And then here is the last one. I believe this is the last one. And so this one has the little white bloomers. And so I could use this with any little dress. And then this fabric, I remember getting this at Joann's. Just so cute. And also this rose. I got some of these roses here at Joann's. And just super, super cute. I did alter the pattern a little bit on the dresses because I really didn't like the way they had it. And so this was much easier for me to do. 
And so, you know what? When you're sewing, just do your own thing. <laughs> you know, that's what so I before say. Before we do a fashion show here with Thumbelina, let me show you some of the small things that I picked up on eBay. And so some of these things I think I also got at the estate sale recently. But look at this. This is a hospital bracelet and it says Thumbelina. I don't know if Thumbelina actually came with a bracelet like this and this is like a replica. Not sure, so I have to look into that. And this was only $3.99, again, on eBay. Also on eBay, I got these really adorable crochet baby booties. Look how cute. I just love these. I needed something for her feet, and so that would be really cute. I also got a pair of pink ones, and you can see the ribbon. There's a little flower there. Also on eBay, I found this. This was only about 6 or $7, and a few dollars for shipping. And so this is called Accessories Dolly. It's in French. And so it's from Edmonton, Alberta, probably from the 60s or early 70s. It says for dolls 18 to 21 inches, but I think it's still perfect for Thumbelina. And so there's also a little bib in there that says ABC and a little bottle scrubber and this funnel. But this was so cute. I couldn't pass that up. I was so excited when I found when that. When I found this, I was so excited too because I was looking for a toy for Thumbelina like a rattle because a baby needs a rattle, right? And I found this one right here, which is perfect. Oh my gosh. I think I paid around $20 for this. And I think it's so worth it, you guys. This was a real toy for a baby. Can you imagine how cute? Looks like from the 1950s around there. And so, because poodles were so popular, I love the baby colors, the pink, the green, the white, and the yellow. And you can hear the rattle. Isn't that cute? I know she's going to love that. Also recently, I found these rattles at an estate sale and I paid very, very little for them. And so look at this one, how adorable, right? And then this little bunny here. And you can hear them rattle. <laughs> so cute. So here is Thumbelina in her first dress. Look how cute she looks. And I have the little rattle here. And then you can see her little booties here and her little bloomers, just so adorable. And so let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And I also love this little rose on her. So here she is modeling her Dumble the Elephant print dress. And she looks adorable. You can see her little shorts underneath, the lace on the hem with the Rick Rack and the little pink booties. So it looks like we're ready to put Thumbelina into the stroller and take her for a walk to the park. Look how cute this dress is. I love it with all of these little bugs on here. And it even says bugs on the fabric, but look at this dragonfly. There's even little funny spiders that look friendly. And then there's butterflies and bumblebees. Just love this little dress. And then we have the bloomers. And I used this little uh, rickrack here. It came in like a rainbow color and it was perfect for this fabric. Aw, look how precious Thumbelina looks in this little floral dress of pinks and violets. So pretty and so cute so on her. After a busy day, Thumbelina gets to change from her cute little dresses into these little outfits right here that I made for her, the little shorts and also this little top. So cute and so super simple to make. So here she is with the other little outfit and as you can see, they're little tiny stars whereas the first one was little tiny polka dots and the pink was a little darker. And so the little shorts, the bloomers are the same color because that's the fabric that I had. So if you want, you can make like one pair of the bloomers and then mix and match the tops. Sewing these little jammy sets for Thumbelina was so much fun because they were so super simple and quick to make. And so you can make a bunch of them. They're just so cute. You could probably make them for other dolls of the same size also. So this is the little print that I got over at Hobby Lobby, the little tiny roses. I went ahead and added the little bunny rattle. So cute, isn't it? And also I want to share with you because if your Thumbelina works and you want to show the button here and you could see that it comes right out here, same with the dresses. And so you could turn it and it still works. And so she just looks so adorable. Let's go ahead and show you the second one. Oops, don't fall over, Thumbelina. So our cat Junbug decided to climb into the basket. And so it's so funny. But anyways, she's checking out Thumbelina's ribbon. But Thumbelina looks so cute in this print here with the little ponies. Just so adorable. 
So this is the very last jammy that I made for Thumbelina, and it is so cute. It's got little lambs, little moons, and stars. What a way to say good night. Happy dreams, Thumbelina. So I found this adorable pink basket at Hobby Lobby for $12.99. It was from their spring collection. And so it's got the two handles, and it's a really nice thick fabric. It's just really, really nice. And I thought it would be perfect to set our Thumbelina inside. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love her. I feel like that little five-year-old girl again in 1962. Just love my Thumbelina doll. And so what I did was I took the rattle, the poodle rattle, which is perfect for this era, and I went ahead and tied it to the handles. And I think it looks so cute. I love the colors. And then Thumbelina has her little nighty outfit. Look at that, the little lambs, the moon, the stars, and then the vintage rattles that I bought at the estate sale a couple of weeks ago. And there's that one and the little bunny and then the baby bottles that I got on eBay and also her little hospital bracelet, the beaded bracelet, and then this little quilted blanket that I got at another estate sale about a year ago. And I remember when I shared it on YouTube, another video, a haul video, I remember mentioning that one day I would probably save this for a Thumbelina if I ever had a Thumbelina doll again. And look at now, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I love this. And there's our little June bug, our little June June girl. She's gonna be two years old at the first week of June. Hey, Junie. And so, but anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. In the comments below, you guys, let me know what your favorite doll or toy was when you were growing up. And do you still have it? And if not, are you looking for it? Do you want to replace it? Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great day and happy collecting. Bye.